good evening, all of my YouTube family. Miss Gail here, Georgia Peach Nut. Um, I'm here today, trying to, of course, play catch up. What I'm going to do is um, show you how I save my seeds. This is just one method. It is not the only method. It's not the holy grail of methods, but it is one method. A lot of times we are, you know, we get into the end of the season and we want to start turning everything into another, over into another plant. We need to use the real estate for some other reason. And, uh, you know, we're like, I need the real estate. So I'm, I'm in a hurry for everything to, to, to go to seed. So this is what I do. You find an area that's kind of out of the way, but still in the garden, that you're not going to need. It could be an area in the ground, it could be uh, in a container, grow bag, it can be in just a small space. Say this is just a small space. And you want to you wanna just save some seeds. You, wanna, you can harvest off the plants, but you, you, you're not going to need this come spring. This is fall, winter, come spring. You're not going to need it, so it's okay if it sits here and go to seed. So I'm going to put some blood meal, down, blood meal down. And while I'm doing this, let me just thank all of my new subscribers. I've gotten quite a few. I just want you to know I do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, some of you don't have any videos or any way for me to say thank you and to speak to you. So if you just throw up something, it doesn't matter. Just do a video of you doing something. I like to communicate with you. So, uh, but anyway, I just want to say thank you. And make sure you hit the subscribe button along with the like, comment, but the subscribe button. So each and every time I upload a video, it will come uh, up on your, your phone or your instrument that you have, as well as hit it till it turns black. Don't just hit it one time, hit it twice. So to my uh, returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Uh, I appreciate all of the support that I get while I'm showing you what I do out here in the garden. So I'm just putting a little bit in here. I didn't take it all the way through because this is not my primary crop. It's going to, yes, yield me some food and I am going to, yes, harvest it. But I am going to leave it until it goes to seed. So what am I going to do? Well, let's see here. First of all, I have, this has been sitting around for a while, I have broccoli. I'm going to put in just one broccoli. That's all I need, just one. And we have um, some spinach. I can't apologize for that because it's life. And life be life. And so I'm at home and you know, people gonna do what they do what they're going to do. Spinach. We have um, collard greens that I've been growing forever. So I'm going to take them out like this. And we get these up so they don't get lost. Break that up. I'm going to put my collards towards the back because the sun comes up over there. If I put the collards right here, they will shade out the smaller plants. The smaller plants is going to go in the front. So I'm going to put the smaller plants in the front. And what else do I have here? Uh, some lettuce. Got some lettuce. No, this isn't lettuce. What is this? This is cabbage. So I'll do one cabbage. Don't worry about the space because you're not worried about that. I'll put the cabbage in the center. And then we do have some lettuce. And as each one of these go to seed, you can take them up one by one, get your seeds from them. So I would do one lettuce. And 
and one more because I am packing it in. This is curly kale. I've had this sitting for a while, as you can see. I need to put this in the ground today. Not in the ground, but in the bag today. So, we're going to give it some nutrients for itself. Y'all know me. Fire in the hole. You don't have to give it the bone, the bone meal, but I'm just putting some in there anyway. It won't hurt it. And we're going to do this like this. Y'all know how to do that. Put this little baby in like that. And it's a done deal for that one. We have spinach. I'm gonna sit the spinach up a little higher because it is kind of short. So I'm gonna heighten the soil where I'm gonna put the spinach in. I'm gonna just put a little heel there. Put that in like that. This little bone meal don't need the bone meal. But Miss Gail being nice today. And twirl that around. And we're gonna put the spinach in. Just like that. So next we'll go with the curly kale. Do the same thing. And it's gonna be compact, but it's okay. It's not gonna bother anything. Then we'll do the lettuce. And I can borrow soil from the middle because I probably put my collard greens in the center and you can see they are tall in the center towards the back. Just that right there. Some of that. I hope you guys been catching the sales at the Big Box stores. I told you about Lowe's. They have the berry bushes on sale for half price. So they're $7 and some change. And if you get one of those employees who act like they own the store, all it needs to have damage. It has damage. If it, there's something, the leaves turn in color, if it's brown, but most of them just go, it, it rings up half price. Why are you even saying that? It rings up half price. So you're going to play police. And they had the right one up in there yesterday. Yeah, I got this right here. I said, put it in there and ring it up and see. Put the screw number in there. I went and took a picture of the screw number. Take a picture of it. If it's outside, take a picture of it. Go in there. So this is the screw number right here. And when you put the number in there, it rings up half price. Why are you gonna tell me that? People, come on. I didn't mean to go out on a rant, but <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. So just go on ahead and go in and get your deal. If you're beginning, this is a good time to go get started and get you some plants for the cheap, for the low low. Because we're going to have another freeze coming up soon. All that stuff ain't going to do nothing but freeze. You'd rather let it die than let people give you some money for it? You have to know your rights when you go in these places. And they have the fruit trees, the same thing. Fig trees, all that. So we're going to go with the collards. I'm going to bury it deeper. Like that. Put this one right here, right next to it. And put this in. And now what you have here is one container that's going to hold what you are going to save seeds from. You don't have to worry about when it's time to plant your flower garden, you know, waiting on it to hurry up and move out the way. It's all here in one location. All here, right here, in one location. 
on this right here will go right in the center and I will add some more soil to, to bring the soil level up and I'm just putting about a teaspoon full of each for those of you who are new I'm just adding about a teaspoon I kind of eyeball it And I'm gonna bring this level up a little higher. Cause I have to watch out for the sun. I want the sun to hit it. And there we go. That's the broccoli. When the broccoli grows up, it's gonna grow up like this. The collars are gonna continue to grow up like this. And these are gonna be kind of low. So you have to kind of think about that when you are planting, how they grow, their growing habits, because you don't want the sun to not hit the other plants. And so you water this in, so you have your seeds that you want to save for next year. I still have space where I can put something else over here. I'll probably put another kale over there. I'll probably do that. That'll be fine. And um, I wouldn't put carrots in here or nothing like that because carrots don't need a whole lot of, lot of nitrogen. nitrogen. All these plants right here are nitrogen feeders. They love nitrogen. I wouldn't put beets in here because when you have too much nitrogen for carrots and beets, they grow hair. It gets hairy. Woody. It becomes woody. So you don't want to do that. But for these items right here, your collards, your brassicas, like your collards and your um, broccoli, you have your kale. It's fine. It's perfectly okay. So there we go. Now we're set. So this is how you save your seeds. You put it in an area where it's by itself, it's isolated, and you won't need the real estate when the time comes to switch everything out for the next season. You won't need this real estate right here. It can just sit here and grow until it goes to seed. All right, you guys, don't forget about the sale. Go get it while it's there. And for right now, I think that's it. I do have another video coming out about the um, sowing seeds on the indoors. I'll give you an update on that so you can see where we are. I uh gonna let you go. Just wanted to bring you along and show you what I was doing out here in the garden today. This is not the only thing, but it's one of them. You guys take care. I love you and I'll see you in the garden. Don't forget to hit the like button. Go on and hit it. Won't cost you anything. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love you.